You are now listening to the Gospel of Alex. Alex, drop those scriptures. It's your boy Alex. Shout out to the Elite Fleet. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can become a member of Elite Fleet. And we're going to talk about Tia Mari because she recently went viral for saying she knows she's going to find love again. And everybody got an opinion on it. And this is Reset Relationships, so of course we're going to talk about it. And here's my opinion on it. Tia, no you're not. No you're not. And any woman in this situation like Tia's, no you're not either. And I'm not being an a-hole. I know y'all like, Alex, you being an a-hole, da-da-da. I'm not, because I'm going to break down why I'm saying everything that I'm saying. I'm going to break down why. First of all, let me explain this to you, all right? Women have a cycle, guys, that they go through when they break up with you. When you break up with them, the cycle's different. We'll talk about that in another video. But when they break up with you, they have a certain cycle that they go through. It doesn't matter the race. It doesn't make a difference. It really doesn't even matter if you were married or you were just in a relationship. In their heads, the cycle operates the same way. What is the cycle? Okay, before they leave, they got to find the reason that it's your fault, right? Find a way to make themselves the victim, even if they got to reach, even if they got to make it up, even if they got to lie. So that way they can get the support from their family and friends and everyone around them. Girl, you can do better. You don't need that. Blah, 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 blah. It's about being happy. And Tia got all gassed up. Oh, girl, you got it. You you got it, girl. You still look good. You go out here. You can do this. You can do that. It ain't going to be nothing. Ladies, listen to me. I'm going to break it down in this video, but listen to me. Your first love, the first man who's willing to marry you. And like I said earlier, go against his biological nature and settle down with you and split his finances with you and have his babies with you and live every day with you and go to sleep every day with you and wake up every day to you. And he's not being abusive in any way, shape, or form as Tia Husband wasn't. And we're going to get into that later in the video too. And you leave him, you're not finding love again. All oh, y'all think the streets are so great. Looking at your friends traveling. And looking at your friends out here clubbing and going to the brunches and wearing the skimpy outfits. And all these broke, bummy dudes who just want to <laughs> your cheeks in their inbox. Filling their ears with sweet nothing. You think it's going to be great. Ain't going to be nothing out here in these streets for you but hard D bubblegum and lies. Most of these women can't even get a date. They don't realize that when they see these girls on these fancy dates, they went through 99 dudes flaking on them. 99 dudes, I imagine them. 99 dudes not responding to their texts or not calling them back after they asked for a damn date. 99 dudes who clapped their cheeks, finessed them into clapping their cheeks and never even took them on a date to get to that one day. You missed that part. And then they run out here in the streets, right? Because they used that energy to give them the shrift they need to propose them to make this dumbass decision to leave the one man who decided i don't want no more thoughts the one man who decided i want you to bury my kids the one man who decided to go against male biological nature and put his seed into just you and only you you decide to leave all that behind right and go back out here in these streets and turn up and that's what they're gonna do at first they're gonna be in these streets turning up they're gonna be just like this Y'all see her out there? She's celebrating not having to share the TV and being able to order food instead of having to cook. And she did other videos where she was dancing about going out and trying to dress a little less conservative since she's a free woman now, right? She gonna do all that. She gonna go to brunch. She gonna go to the nightclub. She gonna turn up with her girls. They gonna twerk. All right, she gonna entertain a couple different men, get her back blown up by a few guys. And please believe someone was in your ear. And that court of people, right? The family and friends that I mentioned earlier that was in your girl air before she left. Just know there was at least one dude there. We just seen that with Tom Brady and Giselle. We found out about her personal trainer who she's apparently dating now. He was probably one of the people in her ear. You should just leave Tom Brady alone. He ain't even focused on the family. So someone was in Tia's ear telling her, oh, he out here trying to get his money now. He ain't worried about you. If you was my wife, I'd be supporting you fully. You've been acting since we was children. I'd be worried about you. I'd be concerned with you. No way I'd be worried about my own career. Well, I need a career. You got a career. It's about you. I'd be all about you. He told her all that. She like, yeah, yeah. Her friends was like, ooh, girl, he fine. Whatever the case may be. She break up with her husband. He come through. 
everything's fine and dandy. And then after a few months, after a few months, all right, six months, some girls it's a little bit earlier, some girls it's a little bit later, right? But generally six months, let me say one year max, but really usually six months, they start to miss being in a relationship. They start to miss someone to have holding them at night. They get tired of answering the questions about kids. And chances are, if you were in a marriage, I got kids. But even in a relationship, you might have kids, right? They get tired of answering the questions. When are you and daddy going to get back together? Because please believe the kids always want y'all to get back together. Unless you're being a bad parent and you're telling them about what the other person did wrong which you shouldn't be doing because it's none of their business, they're going to always be rooting for you two to get back together. So they get tired of that, okay? They realize every dude who was in their ear whispering sweet nothing about what they would do if she was single, just wanted to beat her cakes. And after they beat her cakes, they ain't doing none of it, right? That's when the women start to miss being in a relationship, having someone to go home to, having someone to tell all they goddamn problems to and cuddle up with and watch Netflix movies and run their mouth on the phone about their day and all that shit. So that's when they start talking about finding love again or finding a relationship. And they ain't going to find it in the dudes who help convince them to break up, right? So they're going to start now trying to date seriously again. Now, here's why that's not going to work. Here's why it's not going to work for Tia. And here's why it ain't going to work for no other females who try this crap. Because you got divorced for nothing, number one. And if y'all don't believe me about Tia getting divorced for nothing, check this out. Now, I want you guys to understand in that video, all right? She didn't say she left that man because she was getting abused. She didn't say she left that man because he was stealing money from her. She didn't say she left that man because he was doing anything to the kids. She didn't say she left that man because of any type of anything, right? Real reason. She said, oh, it was irreconcilable differences, which I hate. I don't give a damn what nobody says. Divorcing over irreconcilable differences should be illegal. You, you signed the paper, made a statement to the Lord above, and all y'all claim to be Christians, but I digress, that you was going to stay with this person in sickness and health through the thick and the thin, and you break up with them because of irreconcilable differences? What the hell is that? Again, not physical abuse, not emotional abuse, not mental abuse, none of that. Not financial abuse, none of that. Just because, yeah, irreconcilable differences. We say you want to do one thing, he wanted to do another thing, and instead of working it out, y'all decided to break up, which is fine if you don't have any kids, which is fine if you aren't married, but not when you're married. So that's problem number one. The vast majority of people who get a divorce don't get remarried. Only Becky's, okay? Only Becky's, aka white women, have above a 50% chance of getting remarried. If you're Asian, Hispanic, or black, you got no chance in that switch. You got damn near, not literally, but it's low. It's below 50% by a pretty significant margin, right? But Becky got about 50 50 shot. However, when your divorce reason is irreconcilable differences, that drops below 50 cent. That drops below 50%. So if you're a TMRI, right? You was below 50% to start. Now you're below 50% twice. You basically done. You got no chance and that's what you got, right? And that's just number one. We just getting started getting cooking here. This is where the video is about to get good. Number two, she said, well, you know, when I really started to focus on me and I really started to focus on myself and I started finding myself, all these fake deep ass quotes that women love to use to make it seem like there's some great introspective revelation that they're having when in reality, they're just selfish. Cause that's what it is. You don't get to think about yourself or find yourself after you have kids, after you get married. Once you make the decision to get married, you're already splitting yourself and bonding yourself with a whole other human being. Once you decide to multiply with kids, there is no more you. This is why, and this is a gem, someone timestamped this for me. Unlike most people who come online talking about relationships and dating, right? I actually encourage y'all to spend a portion of your life doing you. Whatever that is, if you want to have a whole face, knock yourself out, right? If you just want to travel, knock yourself out. You want to go and get your degrees, knock yourself out. You want to go open a business, open your business. Whatever it is you want to do, spend a chunk of your life just being selfish, being you by your goddamn self. I encourage everyone to do that because this is what happens. Everybody goes around here telling women, the younger you get married, the better. Better your sexual prime and lock a man down. No, 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 no. <clears throat> mm -mm. Because this is the issue that you run into. They get married all super young, 
And then all of a sudden they feel like they didn't experience life. They never got piped by another dude. They never got to turn up at the clubs. They never got to have their little, um, go and post their little slutty outfits. They never got to live life not being a mom. They never got to live life not having to be a wife. They never got to do them. And eventually that itch is going to get more sore and more sore. And she trying not to scratch it. And she trying not to scratch it. And eventually she going to scratch that shit. And she gonna scratch it at the worst time when the kids are already there and when y'all already married and y'all well into married life. It's gonna disrupt everything. It's gonna disrupt the husband. It's gonna disrupt her. It's gonna disrupt the babies. It's gonna disrupt the money. It's gonna disrupt everything. So I actually encourage now, I'm gonna say this, right? Cause I encourage men and women to do this. Like I said, most people don't encourage women to do this. I tell women by 25, just because of your biological clock, you'd be a fool to not at that point start looking to settle down. But 25 gives you plenty of time. If you want to go out and get your degree, get your degree. You want to open your business, open your business. You want to live by yourself for a few years, knock yourself out. You know what I mean? You want to have a whole phase? Hey, go ahead. I ain't judging you. You know, okay, go ahead. Because here's the thing, right? And this is no knock on versions. I big up versions all the time, but let's be honest with you. Versions are highly susceptible. Highly susceptible to all of a sudden decide they want to find themselves and go out here and explore the world on your ass in the middle of a marriage. Because the virgin ain't never had no one but you. Don't let you fall off. Rather that be fall off because you get some ED. Rather that be fall off financially. Rather that be fall off as you're not as emotionally available. Don't let nothing go wrong with you because she already got a niche. She ain't going to tell you, but she do. She already got a niche. Because she may be suppressing or ignoring it, but she's going to be curious. Damn, I've never been with anyone else but this guy. I wonder what someone else would be like. You start messing up too much, you really got to watch out for them. I, that's neither here nor there. What I'm trying to say to you guys is go out, have yourself some experiences so that you don't feel this way later on in your marriage. Talking about some, oh, I didn't really get to live my life and da 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 We ain't trying to hear that, right? We ain't trying to hear that. So it doesn't matter what, what, what woman you date or when you like them now, you want to make sure a woman knows who she is before she marries your ass. And they're going to all tell you that they know who they are before they marry you. But because marriage is such a big status symbol for women and it matters so much in their world, they will take that marriage before they're ready just to say that they were married. So you got to be the one to make sure that all her eggs is in that basket. She's all in row and she's not crazy. A lot of times you're going to have to be the one to check that. I can tell them to do that firsthand, but a lot of times as a man, you just got to vet popularly. But women, are they will suicide bomb and blow up the entire goddamn relationship trying to find their own happiness, not even considering how selfish that move is, okay? So that's another reason she has ain't about to get married, okay? Another reason ain't one going to get Tia Mari. Tia Mari is on a level where... She is in the top one to five to ten percent earnings of women. I really think she's in the one to five percent, right? I'm pretty sure that's where she's at. So her dating pool is already limited as far as men who are gonna be able to keep up with her financially and gonna be able to understand her lifestyle. But it makes it even worse when you had one. It's one thing out here dating around trying to find love and trying to get married when you haven't been married. It's a whole other thing where you've already been married and you already had this limited pool, but now you're trying to find someone else in this limited pool. It ain't going to happen because here's what people leave out, all right? And this is another gym. I said the same thing when I was talking about Aisha and Steph Curry. Aisha was complaining because she's like, well, I wish I was getting attention like Steph got, like the other girls got, and nobody really pays attention. Nobody really flirts with me like that, and blah, blah, blah. And she, people thought it was because she dressed conservatively and wifely and homely, which she did, which she should be doing. That used to be a good thing. You ain't have a bunch of thirsty ass dudes who just want to bang your cakes in your box. But I digress, okay? But it's also because she's Steph Curry's wife. I'm sure there was some thirsty nobodies in her inbox anyway, but she don't care about them. But the men she would like to get attention from, she ain't going to get it because her husband is well-respected and rich and wealthy and influential himself. Which brings me back to Tia Maury. How the hell are you going to go out here and find love again when all the men who will qualify for your love know your husband? See, when you start dealing with... See, I got a bunch of million-dollar clients, right? And we always talk about old and new money. What you guys got to understand is old money knows each other. And old money know the new money too. So I'm saying that to say, it doesn't matter what industry a man's in, right? He could be a star athlete, right? Or he could be a star musician. Or he could be a star actor or actress. Or he could be a CEO of some company. All these rich people hang in the same circles. They go to the same galas. They go to the same events. They hang in the same circles. They all know each other through the grapevine. 
So chances are any man who can keep up with Tia is well aware of who her husband is because he's in the top 10% just like she is. They ain't gonna marry her. Now what they, sure. But are they gonna make, they gonna follow behind that? When you was married to a man who I know or a friend of my friend knows or a friend of my friend does business with or a friend of my friend, everything's connected in that industry because it's small. The 10% has to hang with the 10%. They can't hang with your broke ass. That's just real. They have to hang with each other. They know each other. So who's gonna wanna date you and you was married to this man, you got that man's kids and stuff, unless it's just a messy ass situation, you might get a young boy to do it, but he ain't gonna marry you, he ain't gonna take you serious, you are gonna be like life's a pimpin' out here getting passed around. Lala Anthony's learning the same lesson. It's hard. <laughs> There's no options for marriage. For pipe, sure, but for marriage, who's gonna wanna come in and take care of that man's kids and be married to that man's wife when they know who that man is, or again, someone they work with knows who that man is it's just awkward they're not gonna do it that's the next reason she's not gonna get married it's not gonna happen she's not gonna find love again and please believe those dudes who was whispering her ear like i told y'all earlier because it's always some dude you know you can do better than that you know what i'm saying you know it's always this and it's always that you know if it was you was with me i'd be doing better for you if you was with me or some white dude might have been her ear like huh i can't believe he treats you like that to you I just can't believe it. If it was me, I would love, honor, cherish, and respect you. Yeah, there's no way I'd be talking over you and stuff like that. Not me. Not me. Not Billy Bob Thornton. No way. Not Billy Bob. Billy Bob doesn't do that. Whatever the case may be, after they, they ain't going to want to talk to your ass no more either. So the options you thought you had that helped convince you to leave the relationship in the first place, you're going to realize, damn, these ain't really options. Ain't nothing out there waiting for you but hard D and bubblegum and lies. That's it. Hard D, bubblegum, and lies. Maybe a couple of dinner dates. That's it. Ain't no marriage. Ain't no love. Ain't no connection. None of that is in the streets waiting for you, ladies. It's not. The reality is your longest relationship, your true love, the person you're going to spend the most time with and have the best chance of spending forever with is going to be the first man you marry. And if you bail on him, not because he wasn't financially abusive, not because he was physically abusive, not because he was mentally abusive, not because he was verbally abusive or any type of abuse, but because he had irreconcilable differences, aka you woke up PMS and then just decided you wanted to move along, your ass ain't getting married again. You ain't finding love again. And if you do get married again, let's say you do get married again, guess what? The divorce rate for second marriages is above 60%. It's shooting 67%. The divorce rates for third marriages is shooting 80 So again, your first love going to be your longest love. That's going to be the best chance your ass have of getting something. Most of the time, in the words of the late, great Kevin Samuel, you ain't going higher than your baby daddy. You damn sure ain't going higher than your husband. You're not. The man who took himself off the dating market and chose to be with you, exclusively with you, split resources with you, build a family with you. Against his biological nature and you think you're going to upgrade from that in these streets in 2023? You crazy as hell. So no, Tia Mari's not going to find love again. Honestly, I don't think she deserves to find love again because I told y'all I can't stand people who get divorced because of irreconcilable differences because it's stupid. And it's being a quitter. In my opinion. And guess what? It's my channel, so my opinion is the opinion that counts. But Tia Mari is not going to find love again. She made the same mistake most women make. Going out here and having an illusion of all these damn options. And they're going to get it popping. And it's going to be sex in the city. And it's not. Ain't going to be nothing out there in them streets for them. But hard D, bubblegum, and lies. I am Alex, and I am out. Peace.